Which breed of cat is least likely to get sick? Cats are loved pets in millions of homes around the world, and each one has its own personality, traits, and most importantly, genetic background. Cats' health can vary a lot based on their breed, just like the health of any other living thing. It is important to remember that a cat's health depends on its breed, its surroundings, and its genes. However, some breeds are less likely to get certain health problems than others. This video will look at the physical and environmental factors that affect a cat breed's health to find out which breed is the healthiest. The finest cat breeds for health. It's hard to say for sure which cat breed is the least sick, but some definitely have a reputation for being better than others. These breeds tend to live longer and better lives and are less likely to get genetic diseases. These are some of the best cat breeds, Siamese, these cats are known for having smooth bodies and beautiful blue eyes. Compared to some other breeds, they tend to have fewer genetic health problems. Because Siamese cats are less likely to get diseases from their parents, they are a pretty healthy choice. Burmese. Burmese cats are known for being friendly and playful. These cats usually have strong immune systems and are less likely to get genetic diseases, which makes them a good choice for cat owners who care about their health. Maine Coon. The Maine Coon is one of the biggest types of house cats. Even though they are big, they are generally healthy and have a lower rate of some genetic diseases. They live long and healthy lives, which makes them a popular choice among cat lovers. Health and genes. Where a cat breed comes from genetically is a big part of how healthy it is. Because there aren't as many purebred cats, they are more likely to get genetic diseases. This is because breeders often put a lot of emphasis on certain physical traits which can spread health problems that are already there. One example is Persian cats, which have brachycephalic, flat faces. However, this can make it hard for them to breathe. Moggy cats, on the other hand, tend to have more genetic diversity, which can lead to a healthier general genetic makeup. It's important to remember, though, that mixed breed cats can still get sick, though maybe not as often as purebred cats. Things in the environment, even though genes are very important, a cat's health is also greatly affected by its surroundings and the care it gets. A cat's health and longevity can be greatly affected by things like its food, exercise, regular visits to the vet, and a clean living area. A healthy, well-balanced food and a safe, loving home are important for all cats, no matter what breed they are. Finding the least sick cat breed is hard to do and depends on the person. Remember that any cat, no matter what breed, can get health problems. There are many things besides genetics that play a role, but some cat types like the Siamese, Burmese, and Maine Coon are known for being very healthy and living a long time. Finally, it's important to think about appropriate breeding, giving the cat the right care, and making the home a safe place for it to live. Cat owners can help their cats live happy and healthy lives, no matter what breed they have, by taking both genetic and environmental factors into account. How can I keep my cat from getting sick? Several important things can help your cat stay healthy and lower its risk of getting sick. Giving it the right food, regular vet care, a safe place to live, mental exercise, love, and attention. You can help your cat feel better by doing the following. Balanced nutrition. Make sure your cat eats a high-quality, well-balanced diet that is right for their age, amount of activity, and any health problems they may have. This is what your vet can tell you about the best food for your cat. Regular checkups with the vet. Set up checkups with your vet once a year or twice a year. These checkups can help find health problems early and make sure your cat gets the right shots and preventative care. Vaccines. Make sure your cat gets all of its necessary shots to keep it safe from common feline diseases. Your vet will be able to tell you which shots are best for your cat's lifestyle. Controlling parasites. Do what your vet tells you to do to keep fleas and ticks away. Deworm your cat regularly to keep it from getting internal bugs. Either spaying or neutering. You might want to spay or neuter your cat if you don't want it to have kittens. This can help keep the number of cats under control and lower the chance of some health problems. Give your cat clean water. Always make sure your cat has access to clean, fresh water. Staying hydrated is important for your health as a whole. Regular exercise. To keep your cat at a healthy weight and keep its mind active, encourage it to play and move around a lot. Great ways to do this are to play with them and give them interactive toys. A safe place to be. Make sure your cat's living place is safe by getting rid of things that could hurt it. 
like poisonous plants, chemicals, and small things that it could swallow. Make sure the windows and decks are locked and put childproof locks on cabinets that hold dangerous items. Getting ready. Grooming regularly can help keep hair from getting matted and reduce hairballs. It's also a chance to look for swelling, sore spots, or other skin problems that could mean you're sick or hurt. Care for your teeth. Your cat's general health depends on how well its teeth are taken care of. You should brush your cat's teeth every day and give them tooth treats or toys that are made to help them keep their teeth clean. Stimulation of the mind. To stay healthy and happy, cats need to keep their minds active. To keep your pet from getting bored or stressed, give them toys, scratching posts, and chances to explore. A good environment. Give your cat love, care, and a safe place to stay. Cats love having friends and being around other cats. Health of your emotions. To keep your cats from getting sick from worry, make sure they get along with each other if you have more than one. Help your cats get along if they are having problems or disagreements. Keep an eye on health and behavior. Keep an eye on your cat's health and habits. Talk to your vet right away if you notice any changes in how your cat eats, uses the litter box, grooms itself, or how active it is. Preventative care. Talk to your vet about preventative care, like getting your cat's blood checked regularly and getting more shots if it has certain risk factors, is older, or is more likely to get sick because of its breed. Keep in mind that these steps can help lower the risk of getting sick, but no cat is completely safe from getting sick. To keep your cat as healthy as possible, it's important to take it to the vet regularly, catch any problems early, and treat them right away. For personalized tips on taking care of your cat's health, you should always talk to your vet. How can I tell if a cat is okay? Seeing different physical and behavioral signs in a cat can help you figure out if it is healthy. Here are some important signs that can help you tell if your cat is healthy. The hunger. A cat that is healthy has a normal hunger that doesn't change. If your eating habits change, like losing interest in food all of a sudden or eating too much, it could mean you have a health problem. What is your weight? Keep an eye on your cat's weight often. A healthy cat's weight stays the same over time. If she or he lose or gain weight quickly, it could mean that you have a health problem. Condition of the coat. The fur on a healthy cat should be clean, shiny, and well-groomed. If your pet's fur looks matted, sticky, or dull, it could mean that they have skin or health problems. Eyes. Having clear, bright eyes means you're healthy. Eye problems can be seen when the eyes are red, cloudy, teary, or squint a lot. Nose. A cool, wet nose is a sign of a healthy cat. However, a dry nose does not always mean that you are sick. Ears. If your ears are clean and don't smell, that means you're healthy. If your ears are hot, swollen, draining fluid, or hurt a lot, it could mean you have an issue. How you act. Different cats have different normal behaviors, but in general, your cat should be aware, responsive, and active. Sudden changes in behavior, like becoming sleepy, hidden, or angry, could be a sign of health problems. Habits with the litter box, a good sign is that the litter box is being used regularly and consistently. Urinary or gastrointestinal problems can be shown by changes in how often you urinate or defecate, problems with urinating or defecating, or blood in your urine or stool. Getting ready, cats are very good at grooming themselves. Taking a breath, cats should breathe quietly and without making a fuss. Coughing, hacking, or breathing quickly or laboriously may be signs of breathing problems. Taking care of your teeth, make sure your cat has clean teeth and gums. Body condition. Feel your cat's body with your hands to see if there are any lumps, bumps, or sore spots. The temperature, the body temperature of a cat should be between 100.0.i degree and 102.5 degree of 38.1 to DC and 39.2 to ZC. If you think your cat is sick, use a rectal thermometer to find out what their temperature is. If your temperature is outside of this range, it could mean you have a fever or are too cold. Use of voice. Too much meowing, growling, or yowling can be a sign that the cat is in pain or anxiety. To add water, gently pinch the skin on the back of your cat's neck. The skin should snap back right away on a cat that is well hydrated. Your cat may be thirsty if it stays in the tent. Remember that cats are very good at hiding signs that they are sick, so don't ignore small changes in how they act or look. For your cat's health, it's important to get regular checkups at the vet and be honest with them. If you see any signs that worry you, you should see your vet right away to rule out any possible health problems and make sure your cat is healthy.